Hey y'all, we're back with another boob tape tutorial. This time we're gonna teach you guys how to do it strapless. Um, every boob tape will come with a pair of pasties and we're gonna walk through all of the steps. There are other ways to wear it, but this is just the simplest, especially for our beginners, okay? So what you're gonna do first is gonna take your pasty. This is a very important step. Unwrap your pasty and then place it over your nipple. I'm gonna be doing this over top of my shirt because we're not trying to break any guidelines, okay? So put your pasties on over top of your nipples. It's okay if it doesn't cover the entire nipple as long as your areola is covered and the middle part because that's where you're most sensitive, okay? Next, we're gonna grab our boob tape. Make sure you're clean and dry. You cannot have any moisturizers or any oils on your skin for the best results. This is waterproof and sweat proof. It does not come off by pulling it off. You have to use an oil, have to, every time, okay? First step, take your boob tape and we're going to measure across our bust. I like to give myself a little bit less room on one side to cut because boob tape is stretchy. So we're gonna cut our strip we're gonna use probably three to four strips total. Some will be shorter. The best part about boob tape, well, our big old titty tape, is, is the fact that it's wider so you don't have to use as much. Once you have your first strip measured, we're going to just begin to pull the tape back because it's way easier to pull the, the paper off as you go, okay? Now, this is the fun part. You're gonna pull your tissue over. I like to come over to the side so I get more optimal space covered. And then we're gonna start to pull. Bring your breast tissue forward as you push and slide. And this is just gonna be the initial piece. Now, once you get halfway, you're gonna wanna start I bend over a little bit, let gravity take effect. Bring your boob tape over and under. Go ahead and pull the rest off. And then once you're connected, you can come over to your side. Now, this is your first piece. This will be stuck to your skin. So this is gonna be the hold for under your bust so that it'll sit up. If your breasts, as most of ours do, sit a little naturally, make sure you go completely under your bust. Now, we're gonna do the same thing again, but this time it's gonna be a little bit shorter. So that way we can really pull them together. So you get nice cleavage, because who doesn't like nice cleavage? Same thing. Get your tape started. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. There we go. Now, Please keep in mind, once the tape is stuck to your skin, do not try to pull it up and relocate it. It will pull up any kind of like dead skin cells that you have and it won't stick well, okay? So now we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go right on top of where that other boob tape was. This is where the pasties are important because most of the time this is gonna go right over top of your nipple. We're gonna come again once you're almost finished Pull the paper completely off very gently and pull it over. Now, this will create a little bit of cleavage and your support. For me, I don't have the largest breasts. So if you have larger breasts, what you'll do, take your boob tape one last time and we're gonna measure a strip from the beginning, the top of our ribs up. Not super long because we want to to create a little bit of tension because that's what's gonna cause your support, okay? So at this point, your boobies will be supported but not necessarily lifted. Now, again, gotta get this to the corner started. Takes a little second, there we go. Okay, so now flip upside down. Tape doesn't like to stick to itself so you wanna stick it to your skin, okay? So feel, get up under your breast. I will pull the tape halfway up and then pull the rest off so that way I can pull up and sit. 
because I have a shirt on, it's gonna wrinkle a little bit, that's gonna be okay. But that will lift your chest up. Now, if you're wearing something that's gonna be really strapless, still do this step, but just cut your tape shorter. Um, cut it a little bit shorter than you think you're gonna need because of how stretchy it is, because you really wanna create tension, okay? So you'll just repeat that step on the other side and it will lift you up as well as push you forward. Okay. Well, our big old titty tape is specifically designed for larger breasts. Normal, normal boob tape is like half the size. Um, it usually is like a like two inch strips. Ours are four inches, so it does work for more bodies. Um, ours is also waterproof and sweatproof. It's not going to come off as long as you are laying flat, sticking to skin. This would be stuck. It would not move at all. You can do jumping jacks, you can do flips, you can wear it under a swimsuit, you can literally do whatever you want without having to worry about having a bra on. Also, we just wanna let you guys know, this is just one example of the way that you can wear boob tape in a strapless way. There is the option of coming from your side and pulling forward and then stopping mid bust, as well as coming up to the side. You can also, if you're wearing something that's a sweetheart neckline, you can come from here and up and then cross on the other side so you still have your available chest. And then for, since summer's coming up, those that show your under boob, those are awesome because you can come from here and then up your neck and here and up your neck so that you still can see your lovely um, under boob. Okay. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. You can call us, you can email us. We are always happy to answer any questions you have about boot tape. And we hope you guys enjoy it and order yours today, juicybodygoddess.com.